Well, you guys, it looks like there is trouble in the Edwards household again. Just like over a week ago, Ryan Edwards took to his Instagram account and he shared this meme that said, I trusted you, but now your words mean nothing to me because your actions spoke the truth. And he captioned that meme saying, your regret is coming. The good Lord showed me what I need, but not what I wanted. And then he went over to Mackenzie's Instagram and commented under a picture of them two in happier times, telling her to take wife out of her bio. He accused her of going out to bars, getting drunk, and going home with random men. Now, the next day, he would take that post down and he would speak out to the son. The son has a good relationship with the Edwards family. Like, every time something happens with the Edwards family, the son gets that exclusive interview from... Jan or Larry or Ryan or McKenzie. So they have a pretty good relationship with the son. Ryan spoke to the son and he told them that he regretted hopping on social media, calling McKenzie out because, you know, they were having some problems, that it's not all sunshine and roses in marriage and that they were struggling, but they were going to stick it out. They were dedicated to their marriage and that he regretted calling her out on social media because she's not that person. That's what he said. Like, she's not a bad person. She's not that person. She's a good wife. She's a good mom. So that didn't last long, but now he's calling her out again, you guys. He's calling her out again. He posted this photo on his Instagram account. Obviously, you cannot see the person's face, but just from the bottom portion of her face, it looks like Mackenzie. Um, also, the wedding ring that the woman is wearing in this photo has been compared to the wedding ring that Mackenzie wears and it definitely looks like her wedding ring so it looks like it's Mackenzie. He shares this picture and he captions it saying if you guys have never seen a spineless SLUT this is one. They take your money sleep with anything that looks at them but they must have a wife too. God what a joke. It's sad really. So I think he's saying like they'll sleep with any men that look at them, but the men that they're sleeping with must have wives. So he's accusing Mackenzie of cheating on him with other married men, right? Now, it seems like he's obviously trying to accuse her of cheating on him, posting some sort of proof, I guess, that maybe this is, I don't know if he's implying that this is a photo that she sent to someone and he caught it. Um, but you guys, the comments, you would think that people would be supporting him. You know, like, oh my God, this man just caught his wife cheating. Everybody would rally around him. But that is not what's happening at all, you guys. A lot of people are calling him out for the fact that that is the mother of his children, which is true. They have children together and the internet is forever. So once you post something, it's there. Other people are calling Ryan out saying, you know, Bentley is old enough to see this. He probably has social media. He's going to see this picture of your wife. You need to take it down. Other people are saying, how is this Macy's fault? We're sure Jen and Larry and Ryan's going to blame this on Macy somehow. Obviously joking over the fact that Ryan and his parents blame Macy for everything. That's like the running joke with the Edwards family. Anytime something happens, the fans are like, how is this Macy's fault again? We know you guys are going to blame Macy. So a lot of those comments are on there. Um, there was one kind of funny comment where it's like, hey, you know, you need to be concerned with that uh, blind guy that lives with um, your ex. Oh, you know, your son, Bentley. Yeah, that guy. I don't know if you remember him, but how about you be more concerned with him and being a part of his life than the shenanigans? Like, get off the internet. People are saying somebody needs to take his phone. Um, also, people are calling him out saying, let's not forget the show me how pink it is. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Ryan was busted cheating on Mackenzie back when they first got together. She was pregnant with their first child. She had actually flown to Dallas to get a wedding dress for their wedding when he was on Tinder sending pictures of his little friend to random girls on Tinder. Um, and what's so crazy is when the girl that he was talking to put it out there. Mac found out she did not go off on social media. She did not shame him. She actually contacted the girl and was like, can you please stop? Like, can you please stop leaking these messages? Like, it's embarrassing. 
I'm pregnant. Like, what kind of woman wants to sleep with a married man anyways? Because they were already legally married, but they were going to have, like, a wedding wedding. And the girl had to tell her, like, listen, I'm not trying to sleep with your husband. But you need to be talking to your husband rather than talking to me. But I think it just goes to show that Mackenzie was not trying to out him. She was not trying to embarrass him. She did not want this on the internet because it was embarrassing to her. But Ryan is putting it all out there. Like, he don't care. And a lot of people's reminded him, like, you cheated on her. You cheated on her while she was pregnant. You got busted for it. Not only did you cheat on her, but she's been with you throughout all this drug situation. You know, she stuck by your side. So maybe at least don't shame her publicly. Like if she's doing something, talk to her about it, but don't shame her publicly. Some people's even saying like, you can get in trouble for revenge porn. I did look this up to see because you can't see her face and she's not naked. Like nothing's really showing other than like, a little bit of her chest. So I did look up the laws, the, the laws in Tennessee of revenge porn. And from my understanding, if she, she could sue him, but she might not win because um, for it to be classified as revenge porn, it would have to show like below the areola of your boobs, your buttocks, or your V. Um, there was one case where a woman was posted online where it showed her full face and she was performing on someone else and he showed the other person's body part and he posted this photo to his thousands of followers and she tried to sue him and it didn't go anywhere because um it didn't show anything of her other than her face um like it has to show just from what i'm reading you guys and you can do the research yourself but there is pretty specific in what i read that it has to show something like and you could wear a low cut shirt and show that much cleavage. So I don't know. Obviously, it would be best for her to talk to an attorney just to double check that. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. But just from, from what I read on the laws, I don't think she could get him for a revenge porn. But a lot of people are talking about that. Um, so yeah, I don't know, you guys. I'm curious to see if he's going to wake up tomorrow and take it down and go back to the sun and say, she's not that type of person. My bad. We're working on it. Um, either way, she hasn't said anything yet about the situation. A lot of people are saying, look, look, this looks like a, a photo that she may have taken for you. She's still, she's wearing a ring in the photo. So how do we even know that this is something that she sent to anyone else? So people think that maybe this is a photo that she had taken for Ryan and maybe he just found it and he's assuming the worst. Surely he would not do that. Surely he would confront her before he just posted this photo on social media. Either way, I'm curious what's going to happen tomorrow. Curious to see if McKenzie's going to say anything about this. You guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Second time he's called McKenzie out for cheating. I'm curious now. Like, <laughs> what's she doing? If she's cheating, girl, go ahead and pack your bags. Pack your bags. Go be single. Go be single. But, yeah, you guys have your thoughts. I'm going to keep up with the story. See what he says tomorrow because I'm sure he's going to talk to the sun. I'll let you know. You guys subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a member of the Bash Chat. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.